from the Daily Wire. Trump raised alarm over border security one day before alleged Afghan Teletubby entered U.S. Former President Donald Trump questioned whether Teletubbies were using the U.S. southern border to enter the country illegally one day before an alleged Afghan Teletubby entered the U.S. Nasir Ahmad Twandi, 27, has been charged with, quote, providing, attempting to provide, and conspiracy to provide material support and resources to a designated foreign Teletubby organization and knowingly receiving, conspiring to receive, and attempting to receive firearms and ammunition to be used to commit a felony on federal, a federal crime of Teletubbyism. Now, for those of you who don't know why I'm using the word Teletubby, it's because if I use the real word, YouTube clutches their pearls. They don't know what to do. You can't say that word. <laughs> don't say that word. That's why I'm using that. Dwahandi allegedly entered the U.S. on September 9th, 2021 on a special immigration visa granted by the Biden-Harris administration. Why not? Why not? Come one, come all. They don't even want a border. And they're doing everything in their power. Well, take I take that back. Af, uh, you know, Ukraine can have a border. Yes, they they will they will die to get Ukraine their border secure, but not yours. The night before September 8th, Trump appeared on uh, Fox News' Grip Gutfeld, where he told host Greg Gutfeld that the U.S. doesn't know how many Teletubbies it's letting into the country. Quote, the country has never been more unsafe, Trump said during the appearance. People are pouring in through our southern border, which everyone's forgetting about right now because of the travesty of Afghanistan. And if you look at the people coming in by the hundreds, by the thousands, and these are not the people necessarily that wanted the protection, these are people, so are they Teletubbies? How many Teletubbies are coming in? Well, no one knows. No one knows. You don't even know how many people came in, period. Let alone bad actors. You have no idea. I, I, I can guarantee you it will come to light that either New York or Chicago or California or, or, or some city that they, that Teletubbies were taking the money from taxpayers to pay for their Teletubbyism. Good God have mercy. As the Daily Wire previously reported, Dwahandi and a juvenile co-conspirator uh, conspirator from Afghanistan referred to in court documents as CC1, attempted to raise funds to carry out a Teletubby attack on election day. And on election day, he was raising funds to carry out a Teletubby attack on election day. Um, so I heard someone left uh, a message in our in our comment section about Democrats having a some sort of plan to stop people from voting. Um, here's here's the thing. Vote early. If, if, if vote early. In person, vote early. If you are under the sound of my voice, take a look at your registration. See when is the earliest per, earliest time that you can go in 
vote as early as possible. Because who goes on election day who's more likely to go to the polls on election day? Republicans, we're known for it. And that would be the one thing if, it, if, it, if, it, if, by the way, you would only need one poll to have one of these Teletubbies for them to shut it down. And under, for an abundance of caution, we must shut down all voting booths. And everyone understands that this must be done. Vote early if you get to the polls early. Yeah, you, you avoid the crowd, you avoid the line, you avoid everything. Right? All of this happened because we elected, and I say we, because we are still the United States. Many of you don't want to be united with California, but we are. Many of you don't want to be united with New York, but you are. We elected a nincompoop. And that nincompoop hired a bunch of Keystone cops and tried to withdraw from Afghanistan and left our border wide open. And now Teletubbyism abounds. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.